Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a kitchen remodel. Um, this is what my kitchen looked like. And the plan was just to replace this particular set of cabinets right here. As you can see, the doors are missing and they look a hot mess. If you're in a mobile home, an older mobile home, then you know all about these particle board cabinets. I wouldn't even call them cabinets, to be honest with you. Um... But yeah, these had had it. So Mikhail got out the measuring tape and measured all the cabinets and we wrote it down and went to Lowe's. And this is what we turned our kitchen into. Rear wood cabinets and rear wood countertops that I absolutely love. This is just Mikhail ripping out all the old countertops. Um, it was nasty, like disgusting. I sh probably should have had a mask on. And I do want to say this project was not planned. Um, it was something that we had been wanting to do since we had bought our house. Um, we woke up this particular Saturday morning and I needed to go get one set of cabinets to go beside our refrigerator because two drawers were missing. And um, Mikhail, being Mikhail was like, hey, why don't we just replace all the kitchen cabinets? And I was not complaining. Hey, you want to do it? Let's do it. And our mobile home is a 97 mobile home, so you can just imagine how nasty the cabinets were. Like, you can see right underneath there where the sink was. It was wet, and there was horrible odor. It was just bad. They needed to go. There should come right on up. And if you're wondering where I've been, then y'all know I'm pregnant. I'm currently 17 weeks. Um, this pregnancy, I've had a few complications with it. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know. I even shared your gender over there. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll um, have it in my description. So this is what it looks like after I've cleaned it, mopped it, even cleaned the side of the stove. So, yeah. So two cabinets are going to go here and two are going to go here beside the refrigerator. And I'm putting my, the rest of my wallpaper all the way down here. Um, we actually put this brick paneling up. I don't know what we were thinking out time. Our house was really, really dark when we first moved in. I have to show y'all before pictures of what it was when we first moved in. It was so dark in here and depressing. I hated it. Um, but yeah, we're going to put the cabinets in. And the top cabinets, we're going to end up replacing all these as well eventually. And over here, we're going to do away with all three of these cabinets. And we're going to do four um open shelves over here and shelves right here once again we're going to do that today but we don't want to take on too much today i want to quickly say if y'all know outfit changes this video was filmed over a two week span um we tackled this side one week and tackled the other side the following week um but i pieced them together
Now, this was the hardest part of the whole kitchen project. Um, we had to put a hole, had to cut a hole out in the bottom of these cabinets so we could pick it up and put it over our sink drain line and pipe and all that good stuff. Um, it's definitely not easy. Now once we picked the set of cabinets up and put it over the drain pipe, it was time to put the countertops on. Um, we're using some wood glue here. I think it's liquid nail or something. Um, I'm not sure what size boards we used. I'll have it in the description though, as well as the cabinets that we used. So for this part, we just put um, the kitchen sink on top of the cabinets and just traced around it. So we knew how big to cut the hole out for the kitchen sink to sit in and that worked perfectly. And now I'm just gonna go in with the stainable wood filler that I got from Walmart and just put it in between the gaps um, that's in between the two by 10s, like, like I'm doing here. And I just use my finger to smooth that out. Now what I didn't show is us bracing the 2x10s down, which is the countertops. Um, we ran a small piece of wood from the wall to the end of the cabinets and attached it into the 2x10s. Just so they weren't moving, they're not going anywhere. This is what it looks like once I filled in the gaps and it's ready to be sanded and stained. is the setup I got the three big drawers here a bigger drawer here and two small ones here don't mind this we got some stuff to go down here I am losing some space down here which is fine because whenever we had the whole cabinet down there pots and stuff would just get thrown back there so I'm really not worried about that but I finally got real cabinets I'm gonna have to put those things on it so they don't slam it's extremely loud Kale's about to come in and put my countertop on I'm gonna stain it and I'm gonna show y'all all that
these are the small pieces of wood I was telling you about that we braced the um, kitchen countertops to. Um, so basically I opened up the cabinet doors and stuck the piece of wood underneath the countertop and just screwed them in just so the three pieces of 2x10 wouldn't be budging and sliding out from each other. I ended up sending it off camera and I used men wax and I think it was um early American. And once I let the stain dry or not, I'm going in with some polyacrylic and I done three coats, I think. Um I let it dry an hour to two hours in between coats. And I also went around our kitchen sink with some um mildew resistant caulking for like kitchens and bathtubs or bathrooms i should say um i think i've done two layers of that and just just so i don't get any water um around that sink and risk messing up our wood countertops And here's a finished product. Um, I love how it come out. I do need to paint the cabinets and add my hardware, which I'll probably be doing that this weekend. Um, not sure what color I'm gonna paint it yet. But this drawer here, we had to um, customize it because the sink, it wouldn't fit in. So Mikhail cut it and it fits perfectly. I don't know if you can see the sink back there, but he cut it and it works fine. I thought I was gonna have to end up Losing this door and just putting, like, bolting the door there. But no, it worked out good. I love it. I wish we would have done it sooner. But y'all know, with any remodel, everything takes time. It feels like a little rustic cabin now with the backsplash and the real wood countertops. Now, we are going to be taking these out above the um, refrigerator and going all the way across to beside the refrigerator with the same size cabinets. Now I did add a two by 10 um, underneath the cabinets as like a kick plate. Um, I plan on painting that the same color as the cabinets as well as adding um, <clears throat> like a border or trim. Um, I think I'm gonna do a two by 10 up here as well, all the way across and I'm gonna stain it. And like I said, I'm gonna go all the way down with that as well, but I don't know when I'm gonna get to that. I'll never get tired of looking at this shine. I love it. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully it motivated y'all to tackle some projects in your house that you've been wanting to do. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me over on Instagram. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.